The firefighter was still rejoicing for just saving another life, unaware that a sniper had already targeted him. Caught off guard, he was pierced through the chest by a sudden bullet. Seeing Eddie get shot and fall to the ground, Buck stood stunned, but the distant sniper had already aimed at him. Fortunately, at the critical moment, a teammate rushed over and knocked him down. Seeing Eddie lying in a pool of blood barely alive, Buck snapped back to reality and immediately rolled under the truck, then crawled desperately towards him. He needed to get him to the hospital as soon as possible. Taking advantage of the sniper reloading, he grabbed Eddie's arm, dragging him under the fire truck. Then he pulled him out from the other side. A teammate quickly opened the door, and together they lifted Eddie into the truck. Meanwhile, the sniper continued shooting. Seeing this, they didn't dare delay, starting the truck quickly to escape. They rushed him to the hospital immediately, but as Buck was about to leave, another firefighter was brought in with gunshot wounds. Meanwhile, the cops arrived at the sniper scene to investigate. Initially, they thought it was a personal vendetta, but another video of a firefighter being sniped changed their perspective. Wait until fire rescue arrived. He's targeting fire fighters. The fire captain tried to calm the team's nerves. He knew the sniper situation made everyone uneasy, but their job had to continue, so he requested bulletproof vests. And during rescues, they had SWAT close protection. However, the next rescue posed a dilemma for the firefighters. A man was trapped on a 300 feet high tower crane. If they went up to rescue, they would become targets for the sniper. But the worker's arm was severely injured and bleeding profusely. They had at most 10 minutes to rescue him. Just when everyone was at a loss, a firefighter suddenly climbed up. The captain asked him to come down immediately, but he refused. He understood the consequences of his actions, but he couldn't care about that anymore. He didn't want to see another teammate get shot in front of him. While he felt helpless to protect them, as he climbed halfway up, a reflection suddenly flashed from the opposite building. Buck was startled, as it was likely a reflection from a scope, but he didn't hesitate much and kept climbing. Soon he reached the top of the crane. Following the paramedic's instructions, Buck applied a tourniquet to him, then took out a saw to cut the steel cable. The man was then rescued by the firefighter. Meanwhile, the cop found a clue, but the investigation result shocked her. The sniper was from the police department. This cop was simulating a sniper shot because there was a sniper in the city. He specializes in killing firefighters. For this reason, firefighters were required to wear body armor on every mission, and they need to be protected by SWAT. In order to find the sniper, the cop was trying to find clues from the sniper's point of view. As the shell casings slipped, they finally found a shell casing left by the sniper. However, the investigation of the shell casings was a shock to them. The bullets used by the sniper were specially supplied by the police. That means the sniper was a cop too. Then they targeted a recently resigned officer, and he was pursued precisely a sniper. The SWAT team broke into the house and arrested him. But when questioned by the cop, the man said that they had arrested the wrong person. Although he was forced to leave the force because he accidentally wounded a hostage during a mission, the hostage was saved by a firefighter in the end. So he didn't hate the firemen, instead he was grateful to them. This puts the case at a standstill. Meanwhile, the firefights were called for a help. There was a fire in a building with people trapped inside. The captain went in with his team to rescue them. But as they spread out to search for the victims, the team suddenly received an evacuation notice. The cop was analyzing the case with his colleague, suddenly thought that snipers always work in pairs. So they suspected that the shooter might be another person, and this fire was also a trap. However, when the captain was about to evacuate, he found a man lying on the ground. He rushed forward to check, found it was a dummy. The captain immediately realized that something was wrong, but when he was about to leave, he was shot down by the man behind him. He was that sniper during the hostage rescue operation. He accidentally shot the hostage and the criminal at the same time. But what he didn't expect, the criminal who deserved to die was saved by the firefighter. After that, he was released from prison and continued to commit crimes. So he blamed the firemen, he blamed the firemen for everything, thinking it was their hypocrisy that caused this. But firefighters are supposed to save lives. While they were arguing about it, the cop came up the ladder to the rooftop and put on a fire suit to rescue the captain. Soon she was in the sniper's room, and as he was about to shoot the captain, she quickly stepped over the fire shot the sniper twice. 